Conference USA announces Players of the Week from March 4. Starting on the men's hardwood, UAB's Rod Rucker earns the Player of the Week, while Max Gersey earns a season-best fifth Freshman of the Week. Rucker averaged 23.5 points for the week to lead UAB to a pair of league victories. He poured in a career-high 26 points in a road victory at Tulane, including 18 in the first half. He finished the game 13 of 17 from the floor and added six boards. The junior forward followed that outing with his 10th double-double of the season on Saturday's win versus SMU. Netting 21 points, grabbed 11 boards and added a pair of game-clinching free throws in the game's final 10 seconds for the win. This is his first CUSA Player of the Week. Gersey averaged 13.5 points and led Rice in assists in both games on the week. After battling foul trouble and playing just 8 minutes in the first half at SMU, he scored 13 of his 16 points after halftime. He followed up that strong performance with another against UTEP, adding 6 rebounds, 3 assists, and 2 steals in the home game as they were team highs. In addition to 13.5 points, 3.5 assists, 4.5 rebounds, and 3 steals per game. This is his league best fifth CUSA Freshman of the Week award of the season and second consecutive honor. On the women's side, Tulane's Danielle Blagg is the player of the week and Brianna Jackson of UCF earns the freshman honor. Blagg averaged 18.5 points, 6 rebounds, and a block per game during Tulane's 2-0 week. She led the Green Wave with 16 points in her upset victory at SMU on Thursday. Against Southern Miss, the sophomore scored 21 points, pulled down 8 boards, and handed out a pair of assists while tallying a steal in just 30 minutes of work. This is Blagg's first Player of the Week honor, but was named CUSA Freshman of the Week four times last season. Jackson broke the CUSA single-season freshman steals record against Marshall. She picked up three steals to improve her season total to 94, which surpasses the 15-year-old CUSA record of 92 and is just nine shy of UCF's record. She led the Knights in points in both their victories as she netted 22 against Houston en route to matching her season highs in both three-pointers with five and assists with seven. She filled the stat sheet again at Marshall with 19 points, six boards, five assists, and just one turnover. To the baseball diamond, Jonathan Van Eaton of Memphis earns the Pitcher of the Week, and Houston freshman Justin Montemayor is the Hitter of the Week. Closer Jonathan Van Eaton recorded saves in three consecutive games for the Tigers last week. On Tuesday, Van Eaton closed out Memphis's 4-3 win at number 8 Ole Miss, the first win in Oxford since 2003. In that outing, the potential tying run stood on second, but Van Eaton used a strikeout and flyout to record his 10th career save. On Friday against Louisiana Monroe, he earned his third save of the season with the help of two strikeouts. Van Eaton closed the door on Saturday's win with two-thirds of an inning out of the pen. Montemayor led Houston offensively with a 375 average and route to a 3-1 record, which included wins over Houston Baptist, number 30 Texas A&M, and Baylor. He drove in three runs on six hits and scored four times for the Cougars. He notched a hit in all four games and produced a multi-hit game twice, including two hits in the 7-6 win over number 30 A&M. He belted his second homer of the year with a solo shot to open up the seventh against Houston Baptist. Montemayor went on to slug 563 and stole a base while not committing an error in 32 putouts with two assists. Softball awards go to Brianna Hope of Marshall as the hitter of the week, and UAB's Lauren Webster earns the pitcher of the week. Hope hit 471 last week with eight RBI, six runs scored, and a homer and a triple and two doubles, helping Marshall post a 5-1 record. The second baseman paced the thundering herd to the Marshall Invitational title with two game-winning hits Saturday against Robert Morris. Her second inning Grand Slam set the stage for Hope's first game-ender as she singled through the left side of the infield during the sixth inning to push across the final run in an 11-3 win. Webster was named the Magic City Classic co-most viable pitcher following the final game of the Magic City Classic, co-hosted by UAB and Samford. In two appearances last weekend, the senior struck out 26 batters in 14 innings and allowed only five hits. This is the second time this season that Webster has retired 14 batters in a game. For the season, Webster has recorded 60 strikeouts. The award is the first of Webster's career. Rice's Natalie Bizan is named the Female Tennis Player of the Week. She capped off a perfect four-match week by defeating two-time All-American and 28th-ranked Arielle Ellis of Texas, while teaming with Dominique Harmath to defeat 12th-ranked Brianna Addison and Noelle Scott to help upset the 29th-ranked Longhorns. Bizant lost only five games in her two singles wins for the week and over her last four matches. Overall, she has won six straight singles matches to run her record to 8-3 
and she and Harmoth have now won six straight in doubles to run their record to 10 and 2. A lot of it's definitely the mentality because I know, you know, coming back at the beginning of the year, just getting back into it again and back into playing competitive matches, it's kind of tough sometimes to like, you know, be playing to the level that you want to play to. So I think over the last few matches now I've definitely just relaxed more and focused more on what I can do instead of what else is going on around the court. So that's definitely been helping a lot, I feel like. Arturs Kadijevs of SMU earned the Male Tennis Athlete of the Week. He started Saturday against Tulane in the number one singles position, defeating Joe Young. His victory proved vital in a 4-3 win over 70th ranked Green Wave. The 2012 CUSA Co-Freshman of the Year currently has a 4-3 record at the number one position and is 3-2 in doubles with Misha Nowicki. This is his first Athlete of the Week honor and SMU's first since 2010. Team, team actually is uh, in a good shape, but we are still looking to play against many other teams. We just have to believe in ourselves that we can beat any other team. That's what the difference is. For the Conference USA Digital Network, I'm Stacey Erfley.